Camila Valiva's doping case is perhaps the loudest and most resonant in the history of figure skating. How has it progressed in the three months since the Olympics? If the investigation is not over, what did Kaz consider at the Olympics? In short, Camila's sample from the December Russian Championship turned out to be positive, it turned out during the Olympics. The award ceremony for the team player, which Russia won, has not yet been held, and Valiva herself was allowed to enter the personal tournament only because of the status of a protected person, she was 15 years old during the Games. There she took fourth place, unable to withstand the enormous pressure. Then she returned to Moscow, where she found the support that was so lacking in China, she performed in several shows, celebrated her birthday, met with the president, and went on vacation. During the games, everything unfolded rapidly, first Rusada suspended Valiva, then changed its decision. As a result, three organizations filed appeals at once, the IOC, WADA and the International Skating Union, ISU. The visiting panel of the Court of Arbitration for Sport, Kaz, urgently decided whether to allow Camila to a personal tournament. Kaz did not analyze either the degree of guilt and its presence in general or the issue of participation in the command. Several factors played in Camila's favor, the status of a protected person, the delay in processing the analysis, and the possible irreparable harm to the athlete in case of non-admission. Therefore, she was admitted, but the trial was just beginning. The reasoning part of the cause decision states that the prohibited drug, trimetazidine, he could get into Valiva's body because of the medications of her grandfather, who underwent heart surgery. The samples before and after the failed test turned out to be clean, and the concentration of the drug was small and indicated a single tablet intake a few days before the competition in December. So, as expected, Camila and her team requested an autopsy of the B sample. What is now with the Valiva case? Rusada is considering the case. Sports Minister Oleg Matitsin hoped that the agency would professionally sort out the case and this would contribute to the recovery. Rusada should conduct an investigation very carefully. At the end of the year, I hope the period of Rusada sanctions will end and it will be restored, so this is a very important moment for the organization. The entire roadmap that was approved for the restoration of WADA is being implemented. German journalist and anti-doping fighter Heo Seppelt, on the contrary, doubted the impartiality of the agency. Rusada suspended her, and just a day later the so-called disciplinary committee of the agency announced that the suspension was lifted and she could participate in competitions. For me, this is a clear indicator that says that there are still people in Russia who do not want to follow the rules. When will the result be announced? In March, specifics appeared. WADA, which, according to Seppelt, did not believe Believa's explanations, issued a press release in which it recalled the timing of the consideration of cases, anti-doping organizations must do everything to complete the processing of the results and hold a hearing in the first instance within six months from the date of notification. Camila received a notice of violation on February 8, it turns out that Rusada should finish the analysis by August 8. This is the deadline, apparently, we should focus on it. There is no reason to expect a decision until the beginning of August with a high degree of probability, based on the usual terms of consideration. Although, of course, the parties can agree on an expedited review. But when an Olympic medal is at stake, there is hardly a need for haste, said Anna Ansalayevich, ex-CEO of Rusada. And the current head of the agency Veronica Lajanova explained why there will be no new information until the end of the process. I would like to draw your attention once again that the athlete is a protected person and further comments on the investigation not only violate the rights of the athlete but also hinder the implementation of the investigation, taking into account the principles of confidentiality and efficiency. What about the coaches? In parallel, an investigation is underway against Boliva's entourage. Even less is known about him. But Finnish lawyer Lori Tarasti appealed to WADA with a proposal to suspend the coaches of underage athletes caught on doping, the issue will be considered by WADA. It would be good to understand what is the responsibility of a young athlete's coach. A minor athlete may not understand what drugs are given to him. He can't get them on his own, as is the case with special heart medications for Voliva. 
Tarasti proposed an individual suspension of ban on participation in international competitions, in which coaching activities continue as before. The idea looks kind of naive because the very fact of doping detection does not put the blame on the coach. The drug could have been given by a doctor or a parent. Although, for example, three-time Olympic champion Arena Rednina supported the Finns' proposal. The May trip of Terry Tutbirds to the United States raised concerns, would the Rodchenkov law be applied to her, it concerns people from the athletes' entourage who were convicted of doping? But everything seems to be fine, Camila Valiva's sample was taken on December 27, before the start of the Olympic Games. Yes, there was an imposition of a temporary suspension period, which fell on the Olympics, but the fact of the violation, and the fact of its detection, was discovered before the Games. I assume from a legal point of view that Rodchenkov's law does not apply to this case," Ansolayevich explained. In Russia, Boliva met only support. During the champion's trip to the Kremlin, Vladimir Putin devoted a lot of time to her. She has absorbed into her talent all the most complex elements of figure skating, its plasticity, beauty, power and tenderness. With her work, she brought sports to the height of real art. Such perfection cannot be achieved dishonestly through manipulation. Yes, in figure skating, all these funds are not needed we understand and know this perfectly well. Camila herself did not complain, but recalled the games with understandable sadness. For me, the time at the Olympics was divided into before and after. So, after that, I especially missed my mother, her support. What do they say in the IOC and WADA, and when is the awarding of the commander? Those organizations that filed appeals during Beijing 2022 do not forget about the Voliva case. In mid-May, meetings of the executive committee and the board of founders of WADA were held in Cairo, the situation with Camila was not on the agenda, but CEO Olivier Nigli still spoke out, the case is being investigated by Rosada. We are waiting for the decision to consider whether it complies with the code and whether it is necessary to appeal. It is on our radar we are waiting for information from Russia. The head of the IOC, Thomas Bach, also touched on Voliva's case at the committee session in Lausanne. We are in contact with WADA and the International Testing Agency, IDA, on this issue. The matter is under the control of anti-doping services. The IOC has nothing to do with this. But we made it clear to them that we are waiting for the resolution of this case soon. As soon as the case is closed, the IOC will award the team tournament and it is completely unclear where to collect the skaters and how it will look like. Rivals of the Russian national team are also waiting for the ceremony, for example, American Vincent Jews said that the United States should get gold instead of silver. This position outraged the legend of our figurine Tatyana Tarasova, and Zhu won gold medals to declare this? The Americans are just insolent. I don't even think that they will be able to take Olympic gold without us. Zhu doesn't command the parade. He does not determine the places in figure skating. But Arena Rodnina is sure that before the award, Camila still should not be considered a champion. If everyone wants, then let them call Voliva an Olympic champion. But does she have an Olympic gold medal? First we need to wait for the investigation to be completed and only then give titles.